In this tutorial, what we're going to do is do a named access list. So in the last access list video, we created an extended access list that basically, let's take a look at it. The access list was applied on the F01 interface right here on this router, R1, on the inbound uh, interface. So we'll take a look at it. All right. And there it is. I've already got the running config open in the window. And you can see that the access list 100, identifying it to be an extended access list, permitting source the two network, right? And you know it's the two network, class C because of the wildcard bits right here, to host 1.254 equal to www, which is World Wide Web or port 80, right? And so that allows the two network over here to access this web server right here. And then on line two, um, permitting the two network to reach the four network. So allowing this source and this destination over here. So what we'll do is we'll rewrite this access list. We'll delete it and then we'll rewrite it as a um, named access list. So here we go. So first thing we'll want to do is we'll say conf t no access list 100 all right, and then we'll do a control C and a show run, and we'll see that the access list is gone. Now we'll take a look at fast ethernet 01, and we'll see that we have the access list applied on the ethernet interface inbound, so let's remove that too. All right, so to do that, we will go back into global config mode interface FA0 slash 1 and we'll say no IP access tab dash group um, 100 inbound. All right, so that'll get rid of that. Okay, so now it's time to write our named access list. And to do that, we'll say conf T, right? And we'll say Instead, normally we would say access, right, and then we'd say tab, list, and then we put a question mark, and you can see there's only two choices, a standard access list, 1 to 99, or an extended access list, 100 to 199, right? So named access lists are not in these choices. So the command access-list is not how we start that off. So what we'll do is, instead we'll start with IP, space, access, tab, list, and then put in the question mark and you'll see that now we have a different option. We have to now name is it going to be an extended or a standard access list. So we'll type extended and then oh, I've got an extra space in there. I want to get rid of that. And then I'll put a space and a question mark and then you can see that we can either give it a number or a word. And so in this case we'll give it a word and we'll say We'll just say web. All right. And so the access list will be called web. And put a space and a question mark. And you see there's nothing else that we need. Just says CR carriage return. So we'll hit enter. And you can see that now we get to go into this special configuration mode. And it says config ext for external and then NACL or uh, NACL for a named access list. So NACL. So now it's time to configure our access list. So now right off the bat let's put a question mark and see what our choices are. Right away we need to deny or permit. So we will permit and now it's going to be TCP 192.168.2.0.0.0.0.255, the wildcard bits, which is the inverse basically of a subnet mask, right? To host 192.168.1.254, I believe it is. Um, let's just double check on that. Yep, 1.254, perfect. And then we'll say equal to port 80. All right. So we'll hit enter, and there's line 1. Then what we'll do is we'll do an up arrow, and we'll just back that out. And we'll
will say now the two network but instead of TCP we'll say IP permit IP the two network space whoops the two network from reaching the four network right so the destination network over here and then the destination wildcard bits okay and that's the it so that's it so um, at the end of the access list is an implicit deny all or deny any any in this case so we'll just hit end right and we're done with that we'll do a show run and we'll see if we can find it there it is IP access list extended web right and then our two statements and so now we just need to apply it to the interface so we'll do a conf t interface fa0 slash 1 and we'll say IP access tab group question mark and now it wants the word or the number so now we could just say the word which is web and then inbound or outbound we want it inbound and now it's there so now it's configured and what it means is on this router interface inbound we should be able to get from any one of these hosts um, we're not denying any specific hosts here so I'll remove these so any of these hosts should be able to reach the web server at 1.254 so to test it out I'll go to desktop web browser I'm in host 2.100 here and we'll just type in the IP address of the web server and hit enter and you can see we can get a web page so we just reached the web server on port 80 so that's good but if we try to ping that web server you can see that destination destination host unreachable the router tells us you cannot reach that destination we've been filtered or blocked by the router from pinging which is a ICMP protocol and we're not allowed to do that protocol only port 80 is allowed to this host but we should be able to ping this host at 4.100 so we'll give that a try we'll say up arrow ping 4.100 and that should be allowed We'll wait for our ARP broadcast to resolve the MAC address, and there it is, and we're good. So it worked. So that is a named access list.